Because if you spend all your time wanting fame and fortune and money and power and position, eventually you're going to run into this wall, this brick wall of the Brotherhood, where you either join or give up all your dreams of being rich and famous. Because they control everything. They control the media. You won't get five minutes of media time as a celebrity if you're not one of them. And so these celebrities will go to these Hollywood underground parties, have sex with a million old men, pedophiles that are there, the agents and the handlers that, that control Hollywood, control the stars, eating feces, drinking urine, having illicit sex with these old men. You give up everything and become an abomination just for fame and fortune. And we call them the elite. Elite what? Poop eaters? I don't know. You got to come in hard. That's why that guy, Travion's dad, he, uh, he sacrificed his son. Now, some of y'all don't understand that. And the reason it made so much headlines because he's a free hall free Freemasonry and he's a part of that brotherhood and he's going to get all the attention to work. So all the brotherhoods wants to see him. This is his time to shine. So all the brotherhoods get to see who is this guy getting ready to come up in the lodge. What better way to, to promote him than him offering his son? And they already know what it was. Oh, okay. This is, this, oh, he wants to, he's going to be coming up pretty soon. So he, they don't have to announce it to the public. But whatever field he was in or whatever he's working, they're going to take him under their thumb. He's going to rise up. He's going to be a wealth. It's a reason for everything. And that guy sacrificed his son, man. That's why I don't speak on it a lot because we know that's a sacrifice. Zimmerman is just playing the part. Pretty soon this thing going to be over and done with. you never hear about him again. As I said before, there's levels of rituals, okay? The more wealth that you have, the more rituals or sacrifices you're going to be asked to do. 98% of hip hop is gay. I, I can, there's no other way to say it. 98% of them are gay. 2% of them got out. That's not many because the majority of them love that lifestyle. Okay. Um, all actors and actresses sleep with the same sex for roles, contracts, commercials, sitcoms. And that's the truth. Whenever you see an actor or actress and you see all these commercials they putting out, and every time you look up your in some type of movie, that comes out of price, man. They don't do this stuff. People say, well, that's just a talent. See, that's a young man talking. He's a dumbass. He, he ain't been nowhere. Industry does nothing for free, y'all. Once you are in, they prefer you not to hang around nobody you know. Why? Because people that's not in the industry can see BS. They can see demonic things happening. They don't want you around folks like that because they can influence you to get out or not participate. So usually they pick your girlfriends, they pick your boyfriends. Why? See, you never can understand you got all that kind of money and you can date about anybody. I mean, half the time I go to the mall, make them celebrity women look sad. But why come they don't want those celebrities messing with anybody in the mall because those women in the mall are regular people. Some of them people believe in the Lord and they read their Bible on the regular. So that means they got light in them. They can't have that. So when you get ready to date somebody, they prefer you to date someone in the industry because they wicked. You see, they got to keep you wicked. So it's no wonder that Kanye West love uh, Kim Kardashian because she's a wicked one. She'd have been passed around like a baton. So now y'all understand why they you know, Kim Kardashian quit somebody, somebody else pick up back up. But who in the hell want to sleep with somebody in them bus? I mean, this girl done had more nuts than Planner's Peanuts. You hear what I'm saying? And they can't wait to date. They can't wait to get with her. Man, come on. It's just, come on. They want you to have somebody in the industry because they are all demonic and under spell. I'm going to read the names I was given. And these are people, folks, that we see every day, and you never realized, ew, behind closed doors, he's a worshiping Satan freak. He's, he's eating poop and having sex with animals and demons. And they all have herpes, folks. Almost all of them have herpes. It's a given when you're a Satanist. 
So this weekend involved with donkey rituals, Reverend Jesse Jackson, Rabbi Shumley, Shmuley, however you say his name, the co-founders of Google, the guy who started Beanie Babies, Derek Rose, co-owner of Chicago Bulls, or the owner of Chicago Bulls, Mike Quigley, congressman, Senator Dick Durbin and Mark Kirk, William Wrigley, the Wrigley billionaire, Emmanuel Rahm and his uh, wife and brother, Kanye West, Sam Zell, owner of the Cubs, owners of the Blackhawks, the co-founder of Groupon, um, Valerie Jarrett, NBC News anchors Allison Rosati, ABC's Ron Majors, NBC's Brian Williams, Wyatt Rockefeller, and then you have Hillary and George Soros. You know, you look at these people and, and you wonder, don't they want out once they get in? How do they get past the feces crap? <laughs> and I was told that they do enough to stay alive. Look at LeBron James. He was recruited in by his agent and doesn't really want anything to do with it, I've been told, but does enough to stay alive. Shaquille O'Neal, Lady Gaga. Do you see oh, Shaquille O'Neal showing off his ring? I saw a picture of it or YouTube or something. I didn't watch it, but I saw, saw him holding up his masonry ring. He must have went to 33rd degree. When you reach the 33rd degree level, you get a ring and inscribed on it is your title, which is worthy of worship. Does he really think he's worthy of worship? Would he get sodomized by enough donkeys that got him that title? You get what I'm saying? So this is the industry, y'all. This is the this is the industry that's going on in America. And most of these guys and girls hate to be alone. And get this, most of them don't have any mirrors in their house. <clears throat> Why is it important not to have mirrors in your house? Because once you have sold your soul, you see images of demons. That's a true fact. Because you don't have any light. The only light you have is Satan. And they hate looking in the mirror. The only time they look in the mirror is when a stylist come over. They don't even comb their hair until the stylist come over. That's that's how paranoid they are. They hate to be alone so bad. They keep people around them. See, I couldn't understand that way back in the day. Like, why do they have to have so many entourage? Because they scare out of their wits. How greedy are you? How bad do you really want it? Because you're going to have to do a lot of vile and disgusting things to be awarded it. You're awarded it. You're allowed to succeed. That's how much Satan controls. If you want to be a network news anchor on one of his media stations, you're going to have to be putting your time into the rituals. Sacrificing babies, adults. That's not once a year, folks. They have to do it constantly because Satan's always demanding more and more and more sacrifices. They huff and puff it until you join and then you learn the true dark side of evil. How do they get anything done in Washington? You know? putting all these legislations together to destroy America, but they always have to break away to go do rituals. It's a good thing there's a city right underneath the Capitol because they don't have to go too far. Underground city right underneath the Capitol building. Yeah, they don't go very far, break away and sacrifice a baby on a lunch break. This is the kind of people we're dealing with, folks. And it's all of them. It's not a hand-picked few. Senators and congressmen are elected ahead of time. They're elected ahead of time. They're chosen because they've sacrificed, made some kind of sacrifice that pleased Satan. And they've been doing their rituals and going to the rituals. And they've shown that they can keep quiet, not say anything to anybody, keep them quiet. And so then they're awarded to be elected uh, for a certain year. Okay, you can run in 2012, and let's say they joined the, the Brotherhood in 2008, 
2009, and then they're told, okay, you have to do this and this and this, and then you can join in 2012, you can be elected. Voting does not matter, folks. Voting doesn't matter. You know, they sit and they have conference calls. The media networks all have conference calls during all these political uh, meetings, and, and, and they conspire on what they're going to report and, and announce. They conspire together the whole time these primaries take place. So that way they can put their candidate at the top on all the network stations. It looks like Mitt Romney's winning. Nobody likes Mitt Romney. The Mormons don't even like him. But they like him. Satan likes to sacrifice. And Mitt Romney's afraid to die so they can control him by fear. And, and, and these are the people we look up to. Brad Pitt, they, those two, Angie and Brad, were having doing sacrifices and rituals with the Obamas on Halloween. Oh, well, I love my mama, too. Well, uh, we're going to send you a letter and answer it within a 24-hour period, and uh, we'll tell you what we can give you. What you mean, a letter, man? Just tell me right here. No, 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 no. Go home. We're going to send you a letter, and that letter they're going to explain, but it's going to be coded like what they want him to do if he's willing to do this, you see. It's, it's just like nursery rhymes. And you were like, what? If I do what? Well, I don't understand the letter. Give us your mama, and we'll put you in the $20 million club. Man, you crazy. And if you're weak, you ain't got the Lord on your side, you sitting at home in that dark room, you eat, you're tired of eating Roman noodles, you ain't got no running water, electricity out, you buy a candle going, all right, man, she work, you know, downtown, she get off at 6. What I supposed to do? Set it up, have her at home. You catch a plane, go somewhere for a couple of days, and we'll send you a text. All right. A week later, they give them a text. They won't say that she's dead. They'll be like, the party was great. Thanks for showing up. Because it's like coded. They ain't going to just come out and say they killed her, right? He hear it on the news, she did. He break down. He goes to the bank account. He got $20 million in his bank account. He slowly forget his mama. Ask Kanye West. That's how he got down. Psalm 37 and 17 again. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord uphold the righteous. But when you're righteous, the Lord holds you up. Even though it feels like your life's getting, getting ready to cut off, look like you ain't got that money, look like you ain't got the right kind of taxes coming in because they cut you this year, right? But you're righteous. Your knowledge is prevailing. You're powerful. All. The Lord getting ready to bless, man. The Lord going to bless the one-third. Don't y'all keep tripping off of Hollywood. And don't keep tripping on how to get that extra money. Just stay, hold steady what you got. 